In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom blog page using Cadence theme. So right here you can see if I go to the uh, plugin sections of my website, right here you can see I have Cadence Blocks Pro and the Cadence Blog plugin already activated. Along with that, I have Cadence Pro, Pro theme also activated. So before you actually jump into this video, what you want to do is to hover over to this appearance and then you want to click on this Cadence and from this Cadence, what you want to do is to toggle on all of these options that you are seeing right here this includes archive custom settings as well and then you also want to hover over to this cadence blocks and then you can click on this settings and from the settings you need to ensure that you have all of these options showing up right as the way as they are showing for me and what we are going to use most of the time is post grid and post carousel widget if you are interested in learning how you can create a custom blog page using cadence theme then without further ado let's get started now so let's just go to the pages section here and here i have already created a blog page so i'll click on this edit button and right here you can see the cadence theme and the page is already loaded right here and if i just show you how it looks you can see this is the blank page and nothing else is showing right here so first of all here we want to remove this title from there in order to remove this title what you want to do is to go back to the page and then click on this page setting right here and then where it says page title click on this disable option right here and then under the page layouts what you want to do is to change it to fill full width or normal or you can keep it default if you want to have a sidebar type of layout on your blog page you can then choose which kind of sidebar you want whether you want the sidebar on the left side or you want to have a sidebar on the right side that is your choice i'm not going to have a sidebar on the blog page so i'll not choose any of these options and then you have rest of these options showing up right there you don't have to do anything on these options once you will do that what you actually want to do is to change this to full width here and as soon as i change it to full width you will notice that this content area is now switched to the entire page that is available if i change it to normal you can see now we have a gray space here that is not actually accessible and we cannot do anything on this space so let's just change it to full width right here all right so we'll begin by adding a row so click on here and then search for row and we want to add this row layout so click on the row layout and you will see this option we want to have single row layout so click on the single row right here and here you can see we have a single row right here if you will click here now this row is selected and we actually need the sidebar here in order to access the setting to access that click here and it will enable the sidebar and now we can access this block setting inside of this block settings you can see we have some alignment settings and then we have this movement settings and it is showing that this is a row layout and then here we have some uh, styling settings we can copy the style and the paste style then we also have some additional settings if we want we can select the parent block we don't have a parent block here which is actually this row layout and if you will select this row layout here you will notice that we have different kind of options right here so the important option here is this inner content width select this inner content width and then change this width to use theme content inner width if you want to use the theme width that you have applied if you want to have the content full width from side to side then you can toggle off this option so i'll click back here and here you can see the section is selected i can then click on this row layout and here you can see we have the same option so i'll change it back to the use theme con content inner width that is what we want to do and then we have this vertical alignment here by default cadence align everything at the top you can align the things in the middle and the bottom so what we want to do is to align the things at the top at least for now until we'll start building something so click on this plus icon again and this time search for post and here is the widget that we want to use post or grid carousel so select this and drag it inside the container and once you will drag it it will show you all of these options that what kind of layout you want to choose for your blog post on this page so let's just choose a simple layout this layout that is showing right here and here you can see it is showing all the blog posts that are already published in my wordpress website now inside of this blog setting you can see we have a lot of these settings available so we have the source as post you can change it to pages or elements but we want to keep it post and then select the post type by query 
uh, you need to make sure you always choose the query here and then you can choose the order whether you want the order to newest to oldest modified ascending descending a to z or z to a menu order or random you have the option to decide the order the number of item six you can always increase this item because this is a blog page we want to have the maximum number of items that we can have here so i'll change this value to 999 and it will just bring us the maximum number that cadence allows and that is 300 so now we have this 300 post we don't have the 300 post activated we are getting uh, all the posts that we have just activated on our website if you want to apply the pagination you can use this option use pagination and at the bottom there should be a pagination because of the number of items every post is showing if we if you will reduce this item to nine you will be able to see the pagination at the bottom and i don't think i have nine posts here so let's just change it to six and in here after that you can filter by category so you can filter by uh, category you can decide which categories you want to display here or you can display all the blog posts that you want to display right here i'll change this value again to maximum values that cadence offers all right then you can decide which post to include and which post to exclude every option is available here select the post taxonomy you have this option available as well you can select the taxonomy after enabling this option if you want to exclude the current post you can enable this option this is the blog page so we don't want to exclude any post from this page so we will just keep it here and show unique we don't want to enable this option these two options are relevant once you are creating the single blog page where you want to display the related post so then these two options are relevant there then under the layout settings you have the setting to decide the layout for your grid so for now we have this layout the grid selected we will keep the grid you can decide the masonry layout once you will switch to masonry you can see that these things are now masonry and if you will change it to grid you can see now everything is in grid then you can decide the number of columns so for example you want to have uh, three columns here now everything is inside the three columns and then you can also decide the column gap so for now the column gap is 30 pixels you can change it to 20 pixels and then you can also decide the row gap so let's just change it to 20 pixels here next up you have this image settings so once you will click on this image settings you will notice that you have this option align images so you can choose left side and the top so if you will choose the left side then in that case you want to have only one column so that every blog post should appear something like this so this one is also a blog post template and if you want to use images at the top then you have freedom to decide the number of columns so let's just change it back to three columns and then here is the images ratio let's just keep it 16 by 9 so it will be 16 by 9 and images side should be 1020 by 1020 and then images is a link to post so whenever someone click on the image they will be redirected to the post so we have all of these settings related to this module right here so let's just create some custom kind of layout for this page for that what i actually want to do is to filter by category and in here let's just change it to teachers and let's see how many blog posts we have so we have this many blog posts let's just include something at the top like the title that will serve as the title so i'll click on this plus button and then what i want to do is to actually click here and then if i right click um, if you will click this option in here you will see this option that says add before so click on add before and then click on this plus icon and we actually want to use this text advanced we use this text advanced and we have added the teachers category here so we will label this one as teacher now under the color settings you can define a color so i'll choose this uh, blue color right here and then if you will choose this option now this widget is selected again you can go to the style tab and under the style tab you have the complete settings of however you want to stylize this item so for the background color let's just change the background color to this kind of gray color that we set it up in the colors and then for the header setting you can define a header background color and everything then you have this content setting so if you will enable this content setting you can change the content background to any color that you want and this area is the content the small text we don't want to use any different color i'll just change it back i just wanted to show you that this is the content background and then this is the footer setting if you want you can change the footer and if you'll change the footer color to the white color here you can see this area is the footer you can change it back and this is how all of these things appear under the advanced tab 
you have this above title categories if you want to display the categories above the title you can enable this option and here you can see there are the categories appearing something like this and then here you can also change the color for the categories and you can change the typography then for the title settings you can uh, decide whether we want to show the title and whether the title is a link to the post and then you can also change the color let's just ch change the color to the blue color and what i actually want to do is to disable this option from there All right now below the title meta we have this show author so this one right here by author posted in what category i'll change the show author and then i'll disable the show category option from there and then you have the option to stylize the color and everything from here then here is the excerpt part so in the excerpt part you can also decide the excerpt color and the font sizes and the font weight the letter spacing and everything then here is the read more button if you want to display a read more you can toggle this on show read more and it will show the read more button right here and here you can change the text so if you want to change the text to learn more you can change it to learn more let's just disable this thing from here and under the footer meta you have this option show tags so you can disable the show tags option and now you can see we have a clean layout showing up like this now you also have some block default option if you want to use this layout as a default layout for all the other blocks that you will use on the website you can save this as default and under the advanced tab you can define a name for this block all right so we have set it up this for this teachers category let's just change this color to the red color and what we actually want to do is to align this thing in in center in order to align this in the center just uh, click here and align it in the center now click back here so it will get selected and if you want you can apply a border to this for that you will have to go to this border settings and under the border settings you can choose what kind of border you want to apply let's just choose this double header uh, border then change the color of this border to the red color and now we can add the border so we have added two pixels border and in here the border will be applied on all of these sides you can also change the border radius so let's change the border radius to seven pixels for all sides so the seven pixels will be applied for all the sides for the border radius and right here at the top you can see the border radius is being applied on this title area right here all right so now let's just duplicate this row actually let's just duplicate this section so for that click on these three icons and then click on this duplicate so now if we scroll down you can see we have these teachers here and these teachers here so i can click these teachers here actually i will click here and then under this general tab under the query settings where we have selected teachers we can change the category to something else so let's just select the lessons so only the lessons blog post will appear and we can now change the title to the lessons here all right now it is changed and now we have this lessons and teachers showing up now let me just show you how you can add a carousel here so in order to do that let me just click here and let's click on these three dots and click on add before and then in here click on this plus sign here and then in here once again you want to search for post and then from here you want to click on post or grid carousel so click on post or grid carousel and then in here you can define the style so this time let's just choose this style right here and here you can see this is how it is looking it is not looking very good because of some of these blog posts doesn't have the images attached to these so let's just go back and uh, let's choose a different layout so let's choose this layout right here and this is how this layout is looking so what i actually want to do is to enable the filters category here and for that what you want to do is to go to the layout settings and where it says layout grid you can change it to carousel and now you can see we have this carousel showing up something like this and now this is actually a carousel once again you can go to this style tab and the advanced tab to decide what items you want to display here and how you want to stylize all of those items so for that what we actually need to do is to click on this advanced tab and here you will see this option show filters so click on this show filters and then from here you will have to define the taxonomy so for the taxonomy we're going to use categories and then in the categories you can see now we have all of these categories are showing up right here then in here you can select the categories that you want to display so let's just choose what categories that we want to display let's remove this one let's add lessons and teachers that's it all right once you will do that we can actually start uh, stylizing this thing from here and for that we can go to the general tab 
and in the layout settings you will see this option grid so if you want you can add three columns in the grid so i'll add three columns in the grid and then we actually need to stylize all of these options right here i am actually not like liking this layout so let's just delete this one from here let's just use this layout that we were creating so i'll copy basically i'll duplicate this layout let's just duplicate this layout from here now this is duplicated now we can move this layout at the top of these lessons now we have this lessons features and now we can actually add the filter here so i'll go to the uh, advanced tab and here in the advanced tab you will see this option display filter so click on display filter now click on show filters now where it says taxonomy once again we'll choose categories where it says terms let's choose lessons and teachers here now we have these lessons and teachers and then we can filter out all of these things now you can see this is looking very plain and uh, i don't know why we have this border here so let's just remove the border here we have this border make it zero and now we have this border removed now i actually want to use a different kind of layout in between of these things so what i want to do is to add one more post or grid carousel widget so i'll add this widget right here and then this time i want to add this layout right here so i'll choose this layout then i'll go to general and then in the layout setting i'll change it to one column and now we have this one column so under the image settings as you can see the images are looking very big because of the portrait i can change it to landscape 16 by 9 and now we have only images looking up like this also what you can do is to adjust the column gap and row gap once again so let's just adjust these gaps from here and if you want to apply some border radius to these images here you can apply the border radius to all of these images all at once so let's add some background color here so for that we'll have to go to style tab and now we can add the background color right here so here you can see this is how it is looking now what i actually want to do is to re restrict the post to two posts so i'll change the number of items to two so that we'll only have two items showing up right here now what i can actually do is to duplicate this title and then i will drag one of these titles and i will move this title right here right at the top and i will change the text to recently updated all right now if we click on this update button let's just review what we have created so here you can see we have these filters and all of these filters are working fine this is recently uploaded post and these are the teachers category obviously we can work on some of these typography options we can add a big banner at the top and you have the complete freedom to do it however you want to do you have the complete freedom so what we can actually do is to add some sort of icons here so for that we'll have to get rid of this thing from here so i'll delete this one and now we are here i'll select this and then i'll uh, choose this option add before and then i'll click on this plus icon and i want to search for icon list yeah icon list or we can use the icon box as well rather let's choose the icon box i'll search for icon choose the icon box right here now we have this icon box and here in the settings we can choose what kind of icon box we need so let's just choose this icon box settings right here or we can choose these settings right here and we can change the title so we can change it to recently dated i think this one will look just fine i want to get rid of this additional description that we have right here let's just remove the description and then link to the entire box we can also align the things in the center or in the left or any ways that we want this is completely your choice so i'll just delete it and then at the top we can add some padding i'll go to this advanced tab and here where you see margin or padding let's add some margin at the top small margin and i want to apply some margin here so i'll select this widget i'll go to the advanced tab and then i can go to advanced tab and apply the paddings here i can do the same things with the lesson and the teachers category so this is how actually you can create your custom blog page template using the cadence theme i hope you have found this video useful if you have found this video useful be sure to hit the subscribe button be sure to hit the bell icon and if you have any question drop them in the comment section i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can thank you very much i'll see you in the next video